Alright guys, I'm back with another video and for this video I want to show you guys how I get my early golden core breakthroughs. I'm gonna start this game up. So as you can see I'm on day 10 and I have two disciples ready to break through to golden core. Right, and this guy has a 113% law match and this other guy has a 118% law match. So the way Golden Core Breakthrough works is that you have to max out these pluses. Basically, you want to get as many bonuses as you want as far as external service as far as external factors. So these are all the main factors that you want to work on besides max key. Max key is like the main thing that you want to increase but these are the other modifiers so yin yang is based on the time of day and the fire breakthroughs best time is six o'clock so that's why this one has maximum yin yang and this is always possible to get maximum yin yang you just have to look at the element of your law that you're studying and then choose your breakthrough around that time and you also want to do a key burst eight hours before so that you can load up the key cushion so for weather, um, I was able to get plus two on weather by selecting the Lushu for my environmental startup because the Lushu will bring in sunny day weather, which True Sun disciples do like, and I was doing True Sun. But if you were doing, for example, the wood breakthrough, then I'm assuming that you would spawn the Lushu for the rain weather, but don't hold me to that. Just go on a wiki and then check and see like which one would be better between rain and sunny day. So besides that, my season bonus is really low. I was supposed to do this breakthrough on day 7 because that's when I have a plus 5 season bonus. And I just ended up doing it a little bit late and my law bonus is pretty low as well because I got tired while rerolling stacks. And so... Alternatively, I got really lucky on my mental state breakthrough. So, we're on my mental state stat. So, I was able to bring my mental state up to 96 on this cultivator because I was lucky enough to have a sect that sells blood talismans, which are T4, T4 talismans compared to T1 talismans that we have when we first start the game. So, I made some story talismans with that. And I also made some heaven some fake heaven sent talismans with those the fake heaven sent talisman is going to increase your cultivators five attributes so that they have better law match which will contribute to that law match before i had the fake heaven sent talisman this was one red plus you generally want five green pluses and then to continue increasing your stats and whatever even after you get those five green pluses so besides that, I learned these two manuals because I didn't transcribe any laws. So I learned these two manuals um, manually. I just clicked train and then my guy got some inspiration and they had enough to get all of these manuals. These are actually three manuals. And then that allowed me to contribute to get 3,000 max key on this guy. And then this guy right here has 4,500 max key. So this guy has 4,500 max key because I gave them the earth flux that I get when I start with beastly instincts. So your starter perk also matters. I started with beastly instincts so that will give me a free earth flux, a farming pill, and euphoria pills. And I also started off with elixir relics which gives me spirit leaf and purity pills if I had a problem with mental state then I would also eat the purity not purity pill it was purity leaf I would eat the purity leaf and I also had red ginseng and ganoderma from elixir relics which adds max key and I just split that between my two cultivators so that pretty much covers how I was able to get all of those bonuses and as far as my key, um, my cultivation array, it has 1,900 key on the tile. You can see that from the bottom right. So this one has 1,900 because I did a key burst. 
on this eight note burst I was unable to burst this note right here because it was on water and I was just too lazy to have someone build flooring on there and then the same thing happened with my key fountain so the key fountain definitely would have bought this t um, cushion to have more key on the map and the way the key fountain works is that when an item on the map is dropped the game will add extra key to each tile on the map so the key fountain allows me to simulate multiple items dropping on the map so I would use tic-tac-toe because literally when you use tic-tac-toe on an item it picks it up and drops it again so watch this see that it picked up and dropped the spirit wood so a key fountain is really good because anytime an item drops on your map the overall key of the map increases so if I go to any tile around here as you can see like this random tile that my mouse is on has a key of 800 so that's why we use a key fountain and I use this array I didn't want to spend time making a second array so I just made this one array and put two cushions under and accepted the fact that one would have less key and you want to build your array around a ginkgo tree if you can find one if you're doing a law that works with that so I'm doing a fire law so that's perfect for the ginkgo tree and actually you're not supposed to chop down the ginkgo tree because that ruins the key gather so there were some improvements that I could have did in terms of that and for your array you will want to hope that nothing would be blocking the way between your tree and um, where you want to place your spirit wood down another key point into this is that I started with ancient battlefield map and ancient battlefield map has a lot of bosses and in these bosses you can get all types like you can get fabric pretty quickly so that your disciples don't have to go to get cotton or anything and make fabric or build like a loom to build fabric so you can build fabric and then have built the cushion instantly the fabric cushion and on top of that I had this guy right here uh, breakthrough and become an inner disciple and I just used them to get like items for me so I had used them to get to the room to unlock the rooms of Taiyi so that I didn't really have to worry about co getting construction resources so all of my outer disciples were focused on getting spirit wood from the trees and then I also used him to go to Alchemist Peak so that he could get the junk pill to feed to one of my cultivators to increase their max key. Actually, both of my cultivators ate a junk pill. And so when you are in character creation, you want to make sure your guy has a good law match with whatever law you want. This is only Golden Core Breakthrough and it doesn't require that much ESP. So you could really pick any law that you want, but the Golden Core score might not be as good because it doesn't coincide with the current season that you're in. So the best time to d the best laws to do an early golden core breakthrough would be wood or fire because the game starts you off on spring day nine so you'll you'll be starting off here so this is like a little sheet that I made when you first start the game I put gold as I say like this is good for fire guys so you have up until day seven to like really get a breakthrough but ideally you would want to be it do it when you have five pluses so you would want to be on day 13 spring which would be one two three four so that's day four but I'm cool with day seven which would be around here and that's really hard to pull off by the way but anyways when you roll your characters you also want to get like an outer disciple that's fast so that they can chop wood really quick and that's pretty much it um so then when i use when i broke through with these guys i got a pretty good golden core score but i'm going to actually go back and then do this process again and show you guys how to do it step by step okay so going to classic I did this in Tribulation 9, so I'm going to try to do that again. Just to show you guys that it can be done on the hardest difficulty. 
So again, as I said, you want to pick Fey or Lushu, depending on which weather miracle you want. And then you pick Ancient Battlefield so that you can create those cushions instantly. And then for Legacies, it doesn't really matter. Illumitree gives some good cultivation speed, but it's not necessary. Most people pick Illumitree because you get free spirit soil and it's just a people favorite. So I'm going to go with Illumitree this time. I believe last time I had Earth Mother Shrine, <laughs> which really didn't help me. I just thought it looked cool. So I was like, I'm just here to practice. Also, if you're using Yagwai, you want to make sure that they do not have three Thought Shards. And those Thought Shards are Climbing, Smelling Incense, and Watching Eating. Because those Thought Shards will reduce your cultivator's cultivation speed. And you want to also try to make sure that they have the, cult the cultivation speed increasing Thought Shards. So, if I go to the Body Cultivation Resource, which I'm pretty sure most of you guys know about, search Cultivation Speed. You can just go through smelling incense is negative 50%, smelling soil plus 20%, washing dressing is plus 20%, washing eating is negative 20%, and hearing earthquake will actually give you 100% cultivation speed, so that's really good. But climbing gives you negative 50% cultivation speed. So basically, you really, really want to watch out for climbing and smelling incense. <coughs> watching eating is like, <coughs> hold up. Watching Eden is negative 20%, so it's not that big of a deal, but it's still annoying. So what I do is, I select my law that I want to practice, and then I know that cats have a good law match with the fire law. So I'm just going to keep re-rolling cats until I get a good law match. And last time I tried to do this, like it took me a really long time to roll these cats, so I might just skip on to the part where I get the where I unlock the cat but as far as that goes I'm gonna show you guys what I do for the outer disciples if I was if I had extra slots to pick an outer disciple then I would have one cat outer disciple with good crafting but I would go with the crafting ability level because that's what's going to increase the speed of one decree items and good artisanry is also good so they have 20 out of 20 artisanry and 21 crafting so they are going to be able to create some other equips that may increase mental state like a set a sentence satchel or a sacred nimbus plate fairly quickly for my cultivators and then the other cultivator that i would do is a tiger or a snake because tigers and snakes have good movement speed and they do good work so if the faster they are, the better they will be at chopping wood and bringing it to my cultivator. Or closer to my cultivation array so that I can build it. And the movement speed thought shards are really hunting and watching fly. You want to get those two or one of those two to ensure that your Yagua has good movement speed. I'm going to go with the tiger. I'm just looking at these thought shards. I know that hunting is at the first one, so I kind of just look at the first thought shard of each one. So I see sneezing, watching work, smelling soil, hunting, facing west, and watching dressing. I want hunting, so I'm going to keep this guy. He has also has some okay construction levels. It's nothing interesting, but I don't really need to worry about construction because my goal is just to get an early golden core. All right, so now I'm going to reroll this cat and then probably edit out the parts of that because it's going to be really boring for you guys to watch and this is like really only possible with my mod because I can keep randomizing without and I, I'll still be able to see the law match without having to re-click on the law but just be sure that you click on the law again after you randomize it otherwise you're not going to spawn with the law you'll spawn with the random law okay and you also want to make sure that a yagwai has the thought shard that increases their law match with whatever law that you want to cultivate so 
compatible. So you have facing east for uh, wood and facing south for fire. So they have the facing south and facing or whatever you want. So I know that I want facing south because I'm training a fire law. So you want to look through once you find that person if you're not using that mod. And uh, this guy also has hearing thunder, which has good cultivation speed, but that's whatever. So, I'm all right, so I'm back. It looks like I have my cat. So, this guy has a hundred percent, one hundred and six percent law match with True Sun, and that's not super good. So that's going to give me. I think it might. I don't know how many pluses it's going to give me, but I know it's not going to be a lot because my last guys had similar law match. At the same time, I'm very hopeful because if you look at the law match wiki, it tells you that, so this says four points below law requirements is negative 80%. So what that means is that for each point that you're missing in a law match, you're losing 20% law match and true sun is comprised of five attributes that contribute to the law match so right here perception is 4.3 so that's 0 0.7 points that I'm behind and then the con is 4.7 so that's 0.3 points that I'm behind and the intelligence has me behind by 0.9 so that's 1.9 times 20 so basically if I can get these stats to five or just increase them, then I'll get 20% per point, basically. So I have a potential to get this guy to, I would say just with the plus 5% manuals, I might get him, and maybe if I get a good heaven sent talisman, then I can get him to like 130% law match, maybe. So I'm hopeful about that, but if that doesn't happen, that's fine. Um, on the other hand, their key sense is it's okay. It's 7 out of 17. Their max key sense is really low, which is 17. Usually you want at least 20, but it's whatever. I'm ready. I've been rolling for like 10 minutes just to get this guy. Okay, so the perks that you want to select are Elixir Relics because this perk is going to get you the Purity Leaf and the Red Ginseng, the Ganop. Ganoderma and those items will also allow you to promote yourself into an inner as well as promote another guy into an inner without using the farming pill from Beastly Instincts. So Beastly Instincts will give you a farming pill like an extra one, an earth flux and some euphoria pills. And then this is Elisha Relics. This is the list. This is all in the character creation wiki feel free to go figure it out so these are the two I do I know some people do another miss but this is what I like so I still have the tiger from before and I still have the cat from before so let's also double check that I click true sun because you don't want to do that and then turn out to have a random law and be like mad so I have True Sun, I have Beast and Instinct, I have Elixir Relics, and I have my Tiger and my Cat. So the Tiger will be cutting wood, so just to save myself some time. I don't want to name him Woodcutter because I don't like how the UI looks when they're long. Let's do Cutter and Crafter. Then I'll name this one Maozong. I'll keep his name. I don't want to strip them of their name. Alright, so I'm on Ancient Battlefield map. Like I said before, the first thing you want to do when you start the game is find someone with a okay adventure flash speed. Oh, also, sorry, I just thought about this, but the reason why I also picked him is because he has a really good cultivation speed boost. So they have 20% cultivation speed boost. And then let's see. 
So I just like having that 20% cultivation speed boost. So what you want to do is find someone who's like really bad at working. And then if they have better adventure fly speed, then that's also good. This is mainly if you're starting in Tribulation 9 because in Tribulation 9 you get extra Yagwai. So these guys can actually be really useful to get in like the job done if they have thought shards that are good for adventuring. So I kind of just look around. This is a human. There's nothing wrong with humans, so I could use that. And then this is a wolf. Okay, so this wolf has adventure fly speed, so that's pretty good. At the same time, the wolf has really good movement speed and could be used as a good woodcutter. So I wouldn't trade good woodcutting for good adventure fly speed. But I might, I don't know. I think I could still get here in three days and then be back in time by day seven. So let's see. Also, I want you want to see how much spirit wood is around here because we need to get like 32. I'm going to change this to make sure that I chop all of the spare wood so I can get my array structure ready. And you can also chop trees around these beasts because they're not awakened yet. So they're just sleeping and your disciples will get through them without getting attacked. That's the Lushu that's giving me the sunny day weather which will contribute to my golden core. Oh yeah, the Luma tree also has some spirit with trees around it, so that's also a benefit. Okay, so then there's more Okay, there's a lot of spirit wood, so I should be able to also get a key fountain. So then the next thing you want to do is do the working things, like fill out the work. So everyone should be able to log, but I want this guy, my tiger, to have logging as a priority. And then I'm going to have them equip the timber ass because there's only one. And I'm going to give everyone else their relevant assignments. I just pick whatever looks good based on the rest of the scores. So like right here, it's kind of hard to find a cook, so I just accept it. I allow people with 10 cooking to cook. Taylor. Okay, so you also want to have a farmer too and this is going to be my disciple so I'm going to make this guy the farmer this person is crafting of course and the rest shall be loggers and peons I want the wolf to be a peon so that he can move stuff around quicker because he has higher movement speed and then I want the rest of them to be loggers. So I can't build a building right now, but I don't want to build a bonfire because if I build the bonfire right with timber, then I only have four timber left. So what you have to do is have your disciple first eat the pill to, or maybe not the pill, but because the pill has medical resistance and I want to use the pill to increase my stats when I do my GC breakthrough. So I'll have them eat two red ginseng and two Ganoderma. This will not hurt them because they still get the mass key bonus. So basically you want to unlock the other buildings without building the bonfire by making a cultivator and establishing a sect. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
And also, what I do with my disciples when I start on planes and ancient battlefield map is I get these amber fruits and I harvest them. And that's what they are fueled on for the for first few days. Like, my guys don't get to eat. And the amber fruit is going to give them energy and make it so that they don't really need to sleep for 12 hours. So that's why I also change the work schedule so that they eat and then they just work and then they eat again. So they eat an amber fruit and then they work for 12 hours and they eat another amber fruit and continue. It's pretty crazy, don't judge me, but that's just how it goes. So while that's happening, I also need to make sure that my farmer is on top of their farming. Ji Sheng, he's chopping right now, so I'm going to cancel that and make sure that he farms so that my people don't starve to death. I'll just name this Scorching because I'm starting off with fire. So now that I established a sect, I can build these workstations. So the first one that I want is a timber station because the timber station is going to allow me to utilize the wood that I chopped to create other um, stations and it generates more timber than the material workplace and besides that I also want to open up these old boxes so that I can get the cushion and it's very important that when you start off this cultivator you put them on cultivate and have them on spirit stone so that they're not on like balance and ruining their mental state because their mental state is very delicate and when you first start you want to create these agility talismans for your guys and the uh, story talisman so besides that I've already decided that I want I need someone to be an inner disciple another inner disciple to do some errands so I'll use this person right here and have them eat the farm farming pill this human Because if I use, I don't really want to use the wolf because I know the wolf can do a lot of good fast things. Yeah, so I have the human eat the farming pill so that they can also become an inner disciple. Okay, so I got the fabric fairly quickly. So that's all that I wanted. So I can stop searching for that. And I'll search these bodies just to get some items to trade just in case there's some good items that I can buy and use for my breakthrough so then since I have a sect I'll build a storage area make the items available for sale and then make a trade area I'm not going to unpause the game because I don't really want a storage area I just want to see what I can buy from these sects so I'm just going to gift them something I'll do rabbit meat since we will be eating amber fruit. So then once I get them everything, I will be able to trade them and see what items they have. I'm really hoping that they have the blood talisman again. At the same time, I'm not going to like save scum for the blood talisman. Because I don't want to force it too hard. And I definitely don't want to reroll characters again. So, let's see what these sex have for me. Winter pants, nothing really useful here. This is amazing, Sacred Talisman. This is even better than the Blood Talisman. So, yeah, I'll be able to get a really good Golden score, Core score with this. This is also good because it increases the attainment. So, Esculent Sect, I'll remember that. And then I just keep going around. Okay, so this increases my luck, so this is also good. What sect had that demon's foot? So Mystic Unity Sect also has a Tiger King Bone. Sorry, I lost the sect that had the Demon's Foot. The Rabbit Demon's Foot. 
Rabbit Demon's Foot, where are you? Where are you? It's in Purple Cloud Temple. Okay. So I just have those like in my head now. So I'll try my best to remember that. And then I'll promote this guy who's kind of like a fodder in her. He's going to be like a work slave. You see that? See that um, wolf? He's already hauling things like really, really quickly. Alright, so now that that is done, you want to start to build your array as soon as possible. So, I'll go into my blueprint and I'll create the guidelines that I need, which is this. And just kind of figure out where I want to put my array. I think I'll put it around here. So you can clear out the area of the map by using a laser station. Like you can use tic-tac-toe and put it on items. And this will clear out pretty much any terrain. And I want my cultivation array to be here. So I'm going to do that. I'm not too worried about losing those boxes that I just cleared out because there's so many boxes and everything else on this map. Oh, actually, I need to see if there's a huge ginkgo tree on here first. Because if there's a huge ginkgo tree on this map, then I would rather be cultivating there. I don't think this map has a huge ginkgo tree. Let's see, let's see. Yeah, so that's the only problem with Ancient Battlefield is that it doesn't have as many ginkgo trees as the Plains map and it's pretty much the same, but besides that, it's really, really good. And you can try to go to Plains and create your own fabric or find your own fabric in the bosses and Plains, but I would still recommend you do Ancient Battlefield, if anything. So let me put this array down again. My eight node array, I'll put it here. And then where I want my guidelines for my key fountain is somewhere, somewhere around here. You want your key fountain to be like down and left from your array. Just because that's like the range of the, or that's the flow of key. That's how key flows in the map. It flows from bottom left to right. So like, see my mouse right here? This is how key flows in the map. It goes from bottom left to right. I have to be careful not to remove a spare wood tree. Okay, so now that that's handled, I'll put a cushion here and I'll put a cushion here so that I can begin to build out an array. And then besides that, I need to assign someone as a builder so that they may build their arrays. Okay, so then when you have the storage area after you bought the sex, you want to delete it and then make a storage area, but only have it for the spare wood so that your guy is only hauling spare wood to that storage area because all the other items like drag, like poop and whatever, even poop is banned automatically, but like all the other like small items you don't really want them to spend time on those so I just changed it to wood and tear I'll do tear 4 and up so that it catches the spare wood so this guy is drawing so what you want to do with this guy is you want to give them a talisman so that they can travel So I do fake talismans because I want to get a junk pill as well. So I'll do a fake departing shadow talisman. I'm not trying to make a perfect talisman. I just need him to be able to come back in like three days or basically by day seven.
because that's when I imagine that I'll be ready for the Golden Core Breakthrough. So like tiles and quality is good. And if you want good quality, you can just do like dot dot like dot it to make it like very precise. At the same time, I'm not trying to do all of that right now. Honestly. I'm just gonna do some touch ups in the end. Eighty eight percent. Eighty nine percent, I'll take it. So you want to make a departing shadow talisman and you also want to make a spiritual traveling talisman. Let's see what this looks like. Same thing, I'm just doing it like very lazily. That was horrible. That was like extra bad. I'm sorry for that one. That was unacceptable. 84% <laughs> makes sense. Oh. I thought I was going to get 87, but I'm probably going to just stay at 86%. Okay, so these agility talismans are created. So I want to have everyone equip agility talismans so that they can move fast. And I also want to kill this guy right here. That's because I'm on Tribulation 9. We always start off with the inner, that's like our outer disciple that's like dying. And I just can't take care of him right now because I'm trying to do everything like super fast. So with the amber fruit, I have my disciples eat it, and then I also have them cook it. I mean, equip it. So when they get hungry, they'll just pull it out of their pocket and eat it. I did it three times because I ate, I have four disciples, and I had 12 amber fruit. Okay, so as soon as the cushion is made, you want to assign it to your person and have them on practice. And then start picking up like the spirit wood as it's being collected. Because we're on like time constraints. But that's only because I'm being a professionist. You don't have to pause it this much. You can really just do it on your own time because you'll still get an early golden core. I just want to be day seven. Because as you saw in the last game, I, I had it up to like day 10. Okay, let's see. They have cis spirit wood. Okay. Oh, uh, they're searching through the hair, and that's kind of annoying that the inner disciple will also search. Okay, so now that those two talismans that I created are created, I'm going to estimate how far it would be for me to get to Alchemist Peak. Or how long would it take for me to get there? So once you have them on practice, they're gonna like go straight to the cushion. And then you can like drop spirit wood down. Like pretty easily. So this is how I build all the array. And it's just way easier with the flooring that's not built because it still has the graphical interface. Oops, I missed the tree. I need lots of spare wood because I want to buy those talismans. I want three of them. So I need enough for 300. And then I also need those two items. So ideally, I would, I don't know, I would just have enough for all, everything, but we'll see how that goes.
I'm going to equip Sit Spirit Wood. As you can see, there's 10 there now because my my guy continues to haul them over. Let me actually take a logger off of him so that he can focus on that. All right, so now that this guy who's the helper has those two talismans equipped, I can see how long it would take for him to get there. So it says it would take 3.11 days for them to adventure to to Alchemist Peak. That would be like there and back. So if you camp there, it would take half that time, and then it would take the other half to come back. And I want to camp and enter. So 3.11 days is good for me because that would be around day four. And I just need him to be back by like day six so that I can eat the junk pill and have him heal and also give this guy some time to learn panacea. So that's where we're at. And now that these cushions are built out, everyone should be a logger. Except for the peon, obviously. Yeah. Also, if you make items out of gold wood, then they will have really good work efficiency. So that means that everything they do will be like better. If that makes sense so they, it will increase their ability to cut wood so I just go here and buy some gold wood I'll trade these items for the gold wood so that I can hopefully make some good axes in time so now that I have gold wood I'm gonna make gold wood timber utilizing one of my loggers and then I'm going to go to and then after that is made I'm going to try to craft a gold wood bow. I'm not sure if I need to make a handicraft station to make a gold wood bow or if I can do it with a regular workstation. So we'll see how that goes. Like can I choose different options? I have to wait until that gold wood is built out. Or until the gold wood timber is made. So you always want to be looking up here to see where the adventure bar is. Once it like refills, that means they're ready to adventure. Okay, so I have one go with timber meat. Let's see if I can make some asses. Yes, I can make asses with four. So I have four disciples that can work. And so I just need to make four. And I can show you the, what the work efficiency thing was. So it's called the work speed coefficient and depending on what your item is made out of it will increase the work speed. So as you can see right here go with timber has a value of 1.8 and then spirit wood has a value of 2. So go with timber is only slightly under spirit wood but go with timber is way more easy to buy and I need the spirit wood. Besides that if you wanted to increase your guys like speed later game then you would get the lumina core bar items or you will make items out of parasol timber, which is also interesting to get. I think lumina core is easier to get than parasol timber, so I would probably do lumina core. And then these are like the items that it affects. So it affects like mining speed, cutting speed, farming speed, healing speed, and all of this stuff based on the items that you make it out of. So I probably do want a handicraft station anyways. Because I want to make a satchet. To increase my mental state. So as you can see, this guy is cultivating and it, he's going up pretty fast. And I don't even have this array like fully built out. But I do have enough spirit wood for the array. As you can see, I have 30 spirit wood somewhere around here. And I think I just need about 32. 
So I'm just going to keep building up my array for this guy. And this place had this thing has like only 52 key on a tile. But when I get done my array, I'll reset my game and then that's going to reset it. And allow me to continue cultivating at like max speed. So that's just something that like you should know about the game. Is that when you do that, you re you'll be able to re reset it. So let's also make this go with timber asses. Mm. This guy's not focusing on that. So let me just make sure that they do that again. Okay. So when someone's not doing like a job, you kind of want to be on one at speed and then like, yeah, there we go. Just keep canceling everything they're doing until they like work on it. I guess they set a different priority. So we're on day two, making some okay progress. Okay, so now this guy will equip this. He has an axe, he picked it up. He's gonna drop this one and equip this one. So I can show you this guy. He has a cutting speed now of 388%. And then if I drop this, his cutting speed is 84% so it's really good and then I can show you what it looks like compared to the other one so this guy has a cutting speed of 777% so then which is great and I'm happy that I kept him because of that so if I have him equip the normal timber ads it goes down to 437%. So just me getting those golden those golden gold wood timber asses that really drastically sped up my gathering of the spirit wood. I also have to be mindful of this guy. Make sure he's going to Alchemist Peak. Okay, so this guy reached the limit 76 seconds ago, which isn't too bad. You do not want to like miss it, the window. So this breakthrough takes a pretty long time. So I think that I'm getting this wood at a pretty quick pace. So I'm gonna have this guy actually place it down. Let's eat this amber fruit. Drop this and put those five. Oh, how did this person die? Frostbite. That's interesting. Oh, this guy woke up. And killed my number one woodcutter. Okay, I need to cancel these. So that these guys don't die over here. That's ACS for you. I think he must have, like, stepped on him or something. But, like, nine times out of ten, that's not going to happen. And that was my main person for woodcutting too. That's annoying. But it's fine. Wolves are really good at woodcutting. So I got really lucky in getting the wolf. Otherwise that probably would have ruined my run. But you know ACS. Some things ruin your run. But you can get something else that helps your run. And this is what I mean. Like. Even if you don't get the ginkgo tree and even if like stuff like that happens, you gotta be dynamic in this game. Or otherwise you're gonna like you're gonna be so annoyed trying to continuously go back and forth between save files and trying to make everything perfect, even though that is what I do. But I'm here to show you guys the way. The way of imperfection. 
So I'm just building out the spear or whatever. I By the way, this could not be built that quick using display cases. It's day two and the array is pretty much finished. So that's why you want to build these arrays on the ground. And you also save resources, which we don't have. I also want to make sure I use these amber fruits. So I'll harvest that. This guy goes so fast I can barely catch up. Okay. Alright, so now that the array is complete, what you want to do is save the game and go back because it was red, like the key gather. You see it says gathering right there and it's red. So you want to load the game back up and save it. If the array is on the ground, then it's just easier to do that. So that's how you bypass that in a way. Or at least sometimes it happens. I guess it didn't happen this time. All right. I think I'm gonna use this guy to move stuff around because they definitely have less um, cutting speed than the other guy. Yeah, he has 945. I want to use whoever has the least cutting speed to move, make this key fountain. Yes, eat an amber fruit and equip these four. And I'm always watching this part. Actually, I should be doing the inside of this. I should, I should be doing the inside first. Just making a small key fountain. I think I'll just do three by three and leave it like that. Let's also move this over if I can. Oh, I probably can't. Let's try to make this guy builder, see what happens. Let's try to demolish it. Hmm. Okay, I didn't activate builder on him. That makes sense. Okay, let's go back to logging. And you will continue to make the key found in. I just need four more. Now you are a logger. Okay, I have 57 in total spare wood. I'm losing out on so many over here because that guy, wait, what are you doing? Oh, that was the other, I thought that said crafter. I was like, oh no, not again. And then as days go by, sometimes like, or sorry, not as days go by, but when you, as it the game and you load it more spirit wood is created and that's the same as like if you were to enter camp and enter a map then there's a five percent chance that each tree will become a spirit wood tree so 
So that's why I suddenly have more spirit wood to get because I saved and load loading my game. But it's not like a reliable way to kind of make the whole map have spirit wood. Please don't do that. <laughs> but like as you do it, just be mindful of it. I forgot that was this guy. Okay, so they reached a limit one day ago. Oh no. That is annoying. Oh, did they fail the first one? Okay, that's even worse. I'm going through some hurdles. Why didn't that drop here? Let's see what happens if I just tic tac toe these. Eh, it's trying. It is trying. Let's put this in a trade area. Have my three disciples eat. Wake up. Then I'll just do this. Oh, this guy is at the adventure. I am struggling. I need to get him back ASAP. So you can see how long he's been camping in there. So he's been here for 46 seconds, which isn't that bad. So in Alchemist Peak, you can get four junk pills, and when you consume these junk pills, you go unconscious, and then your max key will increase, your base max key. So it's a really good item, but it has to be the T-Sys junk pills. So I have that done. So this guy is getting through the breakthrough again. And now that I have spare wood inside that storage area, I can set it for sale and begin to buy those items. So I believe it was, the first priority would be the secret talisman because these are amazing. I need three, I want a story talisman, a heaven sent talisman, and, hmm, I don't know what the third one is. I guess I just need two, but let's, let's get three to be greedy. Hmm. 
No, I'll just get two. <laughs> Let me stop. Because I just need law match and mental state. And now that this fountain is here. That's a really small fountain, nothing crazy. I also want to buy the Tiger King's bone. Or actually I want I need to look at which that I'm lacking in the most. First of all, I just wanna see so he has two hundred and ten percent cultivation speed. He doesn't have a weapon as well. So let's equip a weapon. And then they have four point ten int. So I want to focus on intelligence, perception, con to get those points back. The demon's foot isn't more important than that. Yeah, I don't know. All right. Let me have this person create a talisman for themselves. A story talisman, of course. And then let's draw a heaven sent talisman. So that we can increase their stats. For this one, because it's T6, I will actually try. So you just kind of got a dot inside the lines just so that it can go perfectly and also take into account that the ink will flow downward so you don't even need to go like all the way down like if you stop there for example it's very satisfying then i want to stop start from here because i know it's going to flow down a little bit more And I have to do this because this is a fake talisman. So the stats will be kind of diminished. But it's still going to give us a solid boost. Every single point counts when you're trying to get a good early golden core score. Or, I mean, a good golden core tier. Because a good score is very subjective but you can't deny that like for example a golden core 3 is pretty good for early game all right I'm at 90% quality already, which is pretty good. Let's see if I can get a little bit more. I'll usually get to this point and then like find a way to get less. Then I'll be like, no, 89%. All right, I'm really happy with this. 90% quality on the Heaven Sent Top. Talisman, I'll take it. So, and why is this not working? Okay, let's take this off. All right, so their law match is one hundred and six percent. Let's see what happens when I equip the Heaven Sent Talisman. 
that's exactly what I wanted. So I got really lucky with that sacred talisman. And then I have the story talisman to keep their mental state high. So this is nice. Okay, I was wondering why those items were being moved. It's because I forgot to untick this thing. I only want spirit wood to be transported because I don't want to waste time doing anything else. So I'm going to look around because I didn't look around the last time I came back for spirit wood. So I'm also going to save and return because that array is still red. And, uh, I'm pretty sure that you have to like save and return. Oh, I'm missing timber. Yeah, I need to produce some timber. I'm like, why isn't that created yet? So I'll create some more timber. Where is timber station? Let's see how quickly they're cultivating now. Yeah, see, we're soaring. All right, I have loads of spare wood. Reach the limit. The earlier the better because you want time to be able to train and um, unlock those other law manuals as well. I need to prioritize the spirit wood so that they know to move that first. Let's see. So we just have to move this spirit wood because I have 70 on my screen already. Oh, they're sleeping. They must need amber fruits. Yeah. Just have them continuously equip and eat amber fruit. And you don't have to worry about them, their well being. Let's see, what happens if I fill that? I think that's going to increase my cultivation speed. Then, do I want to buy that Tiger King's bone? Because that's also going to increase my law match. But I don't have any more law match to like fight for because I'm I shouldn't be losing anything negatively. Oh, my intelligence and my perception is not up to par. It's 4.75 and 4.55. So that's like 10% more law match. Hmm. That also increased my attainment though, so I don't necessarily want it. Yeah, no, I'll leave that alone. I'll save my extra spare wood for like my fountain or if I need to buy something else that I may have overlooked. Also, I have eight red ginseng and again on Darren Spear like leftovers, so I want to eat all of those too. If I had multiple cultivators, I would just split it in between them all, but I only have one cultivator right now. And I also want them to eat the earth floods. It only has 22 keys, so I won't suffer from key overflow. One, two. Oh. Build up this key fountain, please. 
Thank you. Okay, so we got the breakthrough. Eating all this food to increase their mass key. That's nice. Let's get this sachet made to increase their mental state. That's also the good thing about having fabric is that you have the set you can make the sachet. And then what else do I need to create? Probably something else. Oh, I don't need to create anything. I need them to also eat the purity leaf that we had. Where's that at? Medicine and purity leaf. So purity leaf will increase their mental state by like five. So it's good. Good to have. And sometimes Wudang or another sec will be selling the sacred nemesis plate, which will also increase mental state. But besides that, I feel really good about my stats. Feel the key. Okay, 10% cultivation speed. Yes. I can have them practice now. I'm not super worried about using mental state up because I have that story talisman. Then I also have the sachet now. Okay, this person is thirsty. No, they have an amber fruit. Let's make sure they always have an amber fruit on them. And then I need to harvest some more. Okay, this guy is almost home, so that's nice. Oh, is this a bear? With 10 movements, I would love for you to be a disciple. Peon, please. I need to give this guy a uh, jelly talisman as well. And I need to give them an amber fruit. I think I'll use this disciple since he just came in to add to the key fountain. Wow, they're so fast. So I'm just going to stand in the middle and drop items and they'll automatically reposition themselves. Guys moving so fast. I'm actually not sure what the minimum size for the key fountain should be, so I'm just kind of like freestyling it. Because obviously I ran out of spare wood. And there is more. So as soon as this guy goes home, he needs to do training so he can learn Panacea. 
so that he can panacea my guy once they consume the junk pill. So that's what I need to have them on. All right, and this guy is right, core shaping and zooming through. And this is pretty much how you get the early golden core. You just have to know all of this stuff and apply it. All right, so now they're ready for the golden core breakthrough. Let's look at the stats. We don't worry about yin yang as I said before because that just depends on the time of day. We worry about everything else. Law looking great, season looking great, mental state is not looking good, but weather's looking great. We're almost at like what looks to be mad stats. We just need the junk pill and that's pretty much it. And I need to continue to burst this to keep the key on this tile high enough to be comparable to what I had before. And make sure I eat the farming pill as well. So, the next thing I want to do is learn these manuals. Helios Glaze to increase Mass Key, and Visceral Blaze to increase my 5 stats, and then I'll get this one as well. And I'll put him on train. Okay, this guy needs a lot of stuff. Alright, I guess it's time for me to build a well and a water bot for these guys so that they can stop complaining. But besides that, it seems like they all need some amber fruit as well. Oh, so it's very important to turn them on default because Asylum will make them cultivate again and lose mental state. That's going to mess things up. And of course I want a bit for my two cultivators. I don't want him to be on cultivate, I want him to train, so I want him to continuously increase his inspiration. He doesn't need that much, he just keeps sleeping, it's annoying. So I might not be able to get the junk pill out, even though I took that time to get it. And that's sad because that's going to increase my base mass key by a good amount. So let's me let me also focus on getting this guy fire meridians. I'm also hoping that this key fountain starts kicking in. Yes, I want them to be on practice, not that.
I just have to make sure that they're actually practicing because if I put them on practice and then they go to the cultivation cushion then their key won't be going up I mean their inspiration won't be going up as fast Guy has a little bit more to go. Oh, he's cultivating. There we go. We want him to go practice. Now they're cultivating again. <laughs> like, bro, we get it. We you have a cultivation cushion. Stop flexing. Almost there. They have 43 mental state too, so it's kind of annoying. Now they're sleeping. We only have two more points to go. Thank you. That's all I wanted from you. All right. Now I'll put them on mind and have them equip the story talisman because that's all they have to do is just relax and increase their mental state. Okay, so this guy has Panacea, and I also have to eat the Junk Pill. And it's approaching day 7, which is the perfect day to... One of the perfect days to break through. Apparently it's supposed to be day 6, but I lost the point, but I'll trade that for more... Um, for more max key it's worth it for me okay so this has 800 key on the tile so i need to also start bursting this i do my fire breakthroughs at 23 so he's unconscious so this guy's gonna start healing him and everything will be fine I'm doing an eight node burst, so that's why it's for eight hours. As you can see, the key on there is increasing a little bit. And they're being healed, they have 4.4K max key, which is a good amount. Oh, I missed it by a second, but it's not really that serious. Um, three, four, five, and then six. Okay. I just want to destroy this tic-tac-toe. So let me zoom in so that they know. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I was like, how do I figure this out while well, still keeping record of where I'm at? So I need to remove the story talisman so that I can increase their mental state more. Like drastically. So we're at 1700, which is kind of close to where we were at last time. We're still at unstable mental state. All right, so what I'm going to do is halfway cheat. Let's see. I'm going to see if I can make another secret talisman so that I can increase their mental state even further.
I fully admit that me having sacred talismans as an option is like a big luck. Divine Comprehension. This one is really good. So I'm going to use this to increase mental state. I might have to redo this if it's not 90% because I'm shooting for perfection even though it doesn't look like it 84% nowhere near 90% alright let's do redraw the intense focus so basically I have an hour to draw the Tasman, equip the Tasman or not even an hour, it's like 30 minutes But the breakthrough won't be that long, so I can start a little bit after 6 o'clock. Because it's not like I'm losing time. Or sitting in it for too long. This is a beautiful talisman. 92%. That is probably the best I've ever made one. Alright, so now you are going to go draw the talisman. Yep. Alright, and then 6 o'clock, hit, so we'll see what that looks like. I'll just do cancel. I didn't want to remove the flooring, but it's whatever. So the yin and yang looks like this, season boost looks like this, the mental state boost looks like that. Let's have them wake up so that they can equip the talisman once it's done. Pretty much as soon as the yin yang looks good, I'm gonna go. Fifteen mental state, I'll take it. Story talisman is eighty two and then that's gonna make ninety seven, which is like perfect. And yin yang is slowly approaching. Let's see what the mental state bonuses will look like now. Yep. So this is what I want it to look like. I have a lot of pluses, so let me save this. Because this is like my best attempt at it. I'll name it Shando Fire Day 7 GC Tutorial. Take this, I'll copy it and paste it. So that way I'll always have that file. And now it's time to do the Golden Core Breakthrough. Do we have the Purity Leaf? Eight. No, we don't. 
every piece of mental state counts 102 percent mental state everything looks amazing let's see how much key is on this tile 2400 that's way more than before so yeah it's time to go guys I want the tic-tac-toe but I also almost want to like look at the golden core breakthrough yeah let me do that I'm just gonna do this like sporadically boom Two thousand three hundred and ninety. Okay, it kind of went down. See, this is a really good golden core. Just gotta keep using the fountain to keep the key up. And this is where we're at. T2 Golden Core. Yep, I'm really satisfied with this. And I'm really happy that like my prediction on increasing law match worked from character selection. That was so stressful. But yeah, this guy has 27,000 mass key and a T3 Golden Core. As far as surviving the Shapeshift Tribulation, that's pretty easy. Um, the timer will stop as you camp an adventure. So I just need to unlock the Taiyi Laws so that I can get Chan of the Rapids really. That's just the water one. And then I also need to unlock Primordial Symbols Law so I will have to travel to here to Skydome Palace to get the Dark Armor Talisman. So I need the Dark Armor Talisman and I probably need Chan of the Rapids which is going to increase my key recovery. And I can pretty much do that easily with the Secret Codes of Taiyi. You don't really have to worry about that if you know you can get an early golden core breakthrough. So yeah, that pretty much concludes the video. I'm going to get the secret code as a tie just to feel cool and examine it on day 7. If you go to Mount Full Moon and you examine this gate, you'll unlock the runes of Taiyi early. Otherwise, it unlocks at like around the same time that you unlock all of the laws, which would be, I think, day 21. Yes, we are Golden Core. We are Golden Core. Oh yeah, also after I get this, I'll go to the other save file and show you guys what that looked like. I definitely wanted to tease you guys a little bit just so you could see like what I needed to get. I didn't just want you to see like, oh, I got these bonuses. This is how you get the bonuses. Let me try it. I want you to also see me try it and then see the good stuff. Because you got to see the progress before you get to enjoy the reward. So let's search that. Oh, let's make an award spot. Unseal. There we go. Oh, also because this is a fire cultivator, I could learn Meditation Miracle instantly and like get the Primordial Spirit almost, but this has a really long adventure breakthrough, but I could get the Primordial sp Spirit pretty quickly as well, or at least to the adventure breakthrough. And we have the Secret Codex of Taiyi, which will protect us, increase our barrier power by a little bit. And that's that's everything for this guy. GC2, day 8.
So let me show you what that looked like on the other guy. I mean on the other save file. So for the other save file I was practicing building up multiple cultivators. Like I wanted I want six cultivators, but I wanna make a big formation. So I was just practicing getting an early golden core that was like good enough. So with these two guys, I did the same thing, but one of them does not have the earth plus that I had. And they have blood talismans instead of secret talismans. Who would have thought that I would have gotten more lucky? And could you imagine if I also got a ginkgo tree on that one? So let's see. I'll just do these two breakthroughs. I'm going to do them like really lazy. Because I want to wrap this video up. But I also want to show you guys. So yeah, tier 9, tier 8. Like they're getting there. So I got two golden cores by day 10 and I was training two cultivators at once and I didn't have an active key talent. See this has 1900 compared to the other one that I just did which has 2400. But it's still some good results like golden core 3 and then golden four, core 4. Ideally I prefer over golden core 3 so that's usually my goal but my goal for the next video series I'm going to work with is going to be four golden core 3s. Or I guess two golden core threes or more, and then like I still want more disciples by like day 27 or something like that. But anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something, and I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. To the loot.